This is the Elmo 16mm film to video converter. It is a telecine machine for the transfer of 16mm film to DVD, tape or hard drive. The machine is slot loading and therefore avoids the problems that you normally face with film damage that can often occur with auto thread projectors. It is a purpose-built machine and not a conversion of an existing 16mm projector and is therefore designed only for film transfer. You cannot use it as a normal 16mm projector. It features a low wattage cold light source to ensure perfect illumination and safety protection for variable archive film. The fast rewind performs either through the slot or the normal external method. The Telecine also features optical and magnetic sound, which is essential for any film transfer business. All in all, it is a very well-established machine that is used by many film archives throughout the world. In the following examples, the video output is being fed through a cannabis converter into Firewire and then into a computer but you can also feed direct to a DVD recorder or tape deck. The machine has colour correction and iris controls to help with faded or badly exposed archive film. All the film you are now watching was transferred on this Elmo Telecine projector. ...through their midst on its way to the sea. Bournemouth has an international atmosphere and attracts visitors from many countries who are delighted with the facilities they find. It's renowned for the schools of English for overseas students who appreciate the opportunity of studying the English language in such excellent surroundings. There are a quarter of a million customers at Aintree and he's not the only one who's just dying to help them find the Grand National winner. Go on, have a bash, pal. Only 47 to pick from. It's a really cosmopolitan field with American, Canadian, French and Spanish owners and riders as well as British. Jay Power on Cardinal Error won on Freebooter two years ago. They're on their way to the start now. A sudden rainstorm has made things unpleasant and we shan't be able to see very well except for the fog. Letting the Gardner brothers through to victory. Both are back in 1965, both with new boats. Dick Bertram talks of his. I wouldn't want to trade boats with anyone in the race, but she's a fabulous riding boat. Last year, you used petrol engines, Dick. Why the change to diesel power? Well, I'm getting older, and this is a bigger, more comfortable boat. She has uh, good power. We're very happy with the power. She's heavier, but there are a lot of horses in these... Uh, Detroit diesels from General Motors. They're 550 horsepower each. We think uh, we've got the, the ultimate in reliability. Yes, they'll all try harder, but will Dick find the finishing mark this year? Uh -huh. We're not going to do that again. We'll probably do something else dumb. Behind Brave Moppy. 